Amid cheers, boos, confetti, and more boos, ex-girls allowed singer Sarah Harding has been crowned winner of Celebrity Big Brother. She pipped X Factor graduate Amelia Lilly in a nail-biting final, with made in Chelsea Sam Thompson thrilled to place third. Harding had been emotional through the broadcast, which brought to a close a 25-day stint inside the Celebrity Big Brother house, and broke down as she was named the victor. I just want people to see the real Sarah, she sobbed. It feels like we've been in there six months. But her triumph was to prove immediately divisive. Her romance with fellow contestant Chad Johnson has been a talking point, largely because she was already in a relationship, though she insisted this was short-term and not serious. However, other participants had also complained through the series that Harding was unpredictable and confrontational, with Lily dubbing her cider Sarah. And she was one of Harding's friends. Was this the most controversial winner yet? Despite being chosen by public vote, the girls allowed Warbler was a contentious figure among viewers, with many suspecting her romance with Chad, star of America's The Bachelor, was played up for the cameras. So it wasn't surprising that Jeers erupted on set as it was announced she had clenched the CBB tinsel crown ahead of likable Amelia Lilly. The internet didn't seem much impressed either. I don't usually approve of booing, went one tweet, I'm very happy to make an exception this time. Why are celebrities obsessed with winning? Brit Awards, Oscars, Nobel Prizes, all paled compared to the honor up for grabs tonight. Winning CBB would be a bonkers miracle said most haunted medium Derek Akara. Chad believed it would allow him to finally start living his life. Harding described it as a dream come through and froze with elation as she was unveiled as winner, to the point where fellow contestant Sean Williamson was required to jump out and support her with matey hug. In Harding's case, especially, the emotion appeared 100 per center genuine, but why? Could Big Brother itself face ejection? With ratings for the latest series dipping to an all-time low of 2 million, down from a record 6 million, the franchise is clearly in a slump. Its prospects can't have been helped by Channel 5 controller Ben Fro's statement earlier in the week that he would rather go it alone than rely on shows acquired from rivals, as CBB was from Channel 4 in 2010. I would be much happier with a channel that did not have Big Brother on it, he said, ominous no matter how you spin it. Can the audience please make up its mind? There was a foreshadowing of the reception Sarah would receive as tattoo celeb Gemma Lucy was booed making her way down the exit ramp. But when she entered the adjacent debriefing room for her sit down with presenter Emma Willis Jeers turned to cheers. Big Brother is maddeningly unpredictable at the best of times circumstances. Whatever about the contestants, a bit of consistency on the part of the studio audience would be appreciated. After 25 days on CBB Chad still isn't sure what celebrity Big Brother is. I had no clue what I was going into, admitted the American reality star. The Bachelor veteran had watched a 30-second clip of Celebrity Big Brother on YouTube prior to flying to the UK but this deep background research had failed to yield the anticipated insights. Were people acting? There were so many arguments, he recalled of his early days in the house. A month later he was still visibly baffled as to what he'd signed up for. Did Derek Akara predict his fourth place finish? The matey mind reader was a departure from the usual tattoos and tans. He was also the first CBB contestant to be accompanied into the house by an invisible spirit guide, correct us if we are wrong. In his exit interview with Willis he described the experience as crazy, bonkers, and like a bad holiday, while insisting that he'd enjoyed, almost, every moment. A big mouth alone won't win celebrity big brother. I could have a rucksack full of banter, but it just won't happen, said third place Sam of his chances of victory. You needed to be stroppy, he reckoned, to appeal to the viewers whose votes decided the winner. He went on to reveal an unexpected sensitive side as he explained that he'd struggled following the elimination of best pal Jordan Davies. Who's going to watch your back when you take a POO? He said, a glimpse into the dark side of reality TV we could had done without. Didn't all the ejected contestants look pleased to be free? 
Sean Williamson was widely deemed to have been unlucky to miss the final. But he didn't seem too crushed to find himself chatting in the studio to Emma Willis rather than chewing fingernails in the house. He also had some interesting insights regarding the competitive aspect of the show. The smartest tactic, he reckoned, was to become involved in a relationship or establish yourself as a strong personality unafraid of conflict. As chance would have it, Sarah ticked both boxes. Neither a snogger nor a trouble stirrer, Williamson, by contrast, was probably doomed to a premature exit.